And now the floor I will give to our Quark's veteran, Andreas Wienkwald. <laughs> okay, so then uh, maybe I start. I was asked to talk about the status and the prospects of action experiments at DAISY, and I'm happy, I'm happy to, do the, to, to do so. Now, the, the quest for axions and axion-like particles, uh, there, there, are, there are many motivations from particle physics and cosmology to look for these, for these uh, uh, particles. So first of all, uh, so there is for, from particle physics, the motivation comes uh, from, from the fact that they arise as pseudo-scalar, pseudo number pseudo goldstone bosons from approximate ab abelian global symmetries beyond the standard model which are broken at a scale much greater than the electric scale. So, and this, uh, so, so one of the most famous example, which gives it, which, which, which has the name Axion, arises from the, from the breaking of a Pecci quinn symmetry, which was introduced by, by Roberto Pecci and Helen Quinn to, to, to solve the strong CP problems or, or the or wider, wider theta parameter in, in, in uh, QCD. Is, uh, is so small uh, uh, because uh, why, why, they, why the electric dipole moment of, of the neutron is so small because this, this theta parameter would violate the, the uh, would, would violate uh, uh, CP, C, uh, CP and therefore uh, would uh, in strong interactions and this would give rise to a, to a, to a electric dipole moment which is proportional to this theta parameter, and so the, the electric dipole moment was so small that uh, that that uh, that it was that there was a that Petsch and Quinn proposed this uh, solution that the theta parameter is actually uh, can be absorbed by a by a pseudo number Goldstone field, and this was called then the axion by Frank Wilczek when they realized when when Weinberg and Wilczek they realized that. Uh, that uh, uh, the the Pecci Quinn mechanism uh, predicts the existence of a number Goldstone boson, and but but we had already today we have we also heard by, by Julien about about uh, the Majoron the Majoron uh, is uh, was was proposed uh, uh, to arise or, uh, from a from a proposed lepton symmetry, which was uh, which was introduced in order to to explain the smallness of the, the neutrino mass and so on. And, uh, and uh, so, so this arises as a, as a, as a, a pseudo goldstone boson from the breaking of this lepton symmetry. There are others, so, so from Surab has introduced the, the famidone from, from, from breaking a family symmetry and so on. So, so axions or more general axion-like particles, they are very, uh, they occur very naturally in physics beyond the, beyond the standard model. Now, but a very, uh, 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 it was shortly after the, after the proposal of the, of the axion and of about after the proposal of invisible axion models, because the first axion model there, there was the axion was uh, was was uh, was a, a phase, so to say, in a two Higgs doublet model, and uh, and it was uh, soon seen that 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 uh, that the first proposed axon model by the proposed uh, model by Petsch and Quinn that this one uh, had a visible axion, so this axion would have a, 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 a mass. Uh, a mass in, in the, so to say, in, in the, in the, in, in the, uh, in the uh, similar to the pion and so on, and would have been uh, easily detectable. And because it, it, it wasn't seen, then, then uh, uh, Kim, Schiffman, Weinstein, and Zakharov, and uh, Dein, Fischler, and Sednitsky, they proposed invisible axon models. But in this ex invisible axon models, uh, uh, it, it, it turned out very, very fast after this introduction of these models, uh, uh, 
that that they are not so invisible because they are leading to a, to a, to 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 dark matter so so and this was at, at this time when when this was proposed in 83 this form was more or less considered for them to be a problem so to say because they because these models they, they produced typically they 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 were, they were overproducing uh, overproducing a dark matter if this decay scale is too large and but on the other hand, and so nowadays, of course, we are we are we are more and more by by many 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 sigma. We are con convinced that there is dark matter, and and so now the axion and other axion-like particles they are very very uh, important dark matter candidates, and very well motivated by dark matter candidates. And the mechanism which which was found found out by by these by these authors like Preskill, Weiss, Wilshake, Ebert, Sikivi, and Diamond Fischler was the so-called vacuum realignment mechanism, uh, uh, which uh, uh, which uh, uh, which you you find that that the axion or 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 or, or a general pseudo number Goldstone uh, field, uh, scalar field. That this is frozen in the its evolution is frozen in the early universe uh, when the when when its mass is uh, much less than the Hubble expansion rate at, at that time it's fro it's frozen at at an, at an initial value and then later when the when the mass when the mass uh, falls uh, 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 the, uh, the, the, or the the Hubble expansion rate falls enough such that 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 the mass is larger than three times the Hubble expansion rate, then this field starts to 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 uh, evolve and and to to oscillate in the in the in the in in the in the potential, which is if, if uh, which is given by the mass term, so to say, and 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 uh, and uh, if you if you consider the equation of state of such a of, of, of such uh, uh, evolving uh, scalar field, then you easily find out that it's it's like uh, non-relativistic dark matter, and and so the so the axion or generically uh, fields uh, uh, or particles produced by such uh, by such uh, by by this vacuum realignment mechanism, they are uh, they are uh, uh, very well motivated dark matter candidate, and in and uh, in, the, in the case that that this uh, the symmetry breaking happens after uh, after inflation, then there is also uh, a lot of, uh, of, of 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 axions or the axon dark matter is produced by the decay of topology topological effects. And our chairman has has worked a lot on also on, on this in this. Uh, uh, and, and is very much interested in, in these kinds of things. But I am now concentrating on the on the on the exper experiments uh, of of this. And in the experiments, of course, they are they are they, they are uh, uh, searching for the interactions of these axion and 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 alps uh, with standard model uh, model particles. So axon and alps, they are very weakly, they are wisps, so to say they are very weakly interacting slim particles. So first of all, why they are very weakly interacting is that, uh, that the, the, the couplings to the standard model are uh, suppressed by powers of the symmetry breaking scale. And now for, for such for, for, for an, uh, for an act for, for, uh, for, for an axion now for example the, the, the coupling to the to the photons is given by 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 this term so you have this ff dual uh, interactions where f dual is the dual electromagnetic field strength and which is in fact it's it's nothing else like e dot b uh, electric field times the magnetic field so if they have a linear interaction with with with, su with, with such a field and uh, and in general, so so this goes so so this this uh, this was arising uh, through 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 maybe through a loop from from to a fermion loop from higher for from from a UV completion of the model. So you have a, a model dependent parameter c a gamma, a dimensionless uh, parameter, and the rest is is dictated by the by the so is is uh, model independent and. Uh, and you have also the, the, the interaction with the with, with with the standard model fermions, 
is via this this spin, spin term and the interaction uh, is, is a derivative interaction which just uh, which is the remnant of the original uh, abelian uh, symmetry uh, which is now nonlinearly realized in, in after after integrating out uh, the ultraviolet uh, 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 degrees of freedom and here again you have also a, a dimensionless model dependent uh, uh, constant now and 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 uh, these particles they are naturally they are slim or they are very very light because uh, because of course they would be massless if the global symmetry which was which which was broken is, was exact but there will be a but there will be a small mass uh, generic is uh, we expect always for for any uh, goldstone boson we we arising from a global symmetry due to quantum gravity we we, we expect that uh, that there will be in any case there will be always a small mass from explicit breaking of the global symmetry for the axion it's assumed that the dominant uh, uh, contribution to this explicit breaking comes from the from the from from the from the anomalous nature of the Pechik wind symmetry. And then the axion gets its mass uh, uh, then from the, from, from the mixing with the pion. And so the, and, and this inversionally proportional to the, to, the, to the high scale symmetry breaking scale. And, and there is also a breaking of this, of the, of the, of the chiral symmetry or, or also by the, by the fermion masses. So this is the general uh, expression for the axion, expect, expectation for the axion, but for, for other Goldstone bosons, uh, uh, it might be, it might be a different, uh, it, it might be a different value. And, and so, so if, if, and then they are called axion-like particles. Similar for the for for the for the coupling to the photon for the axon, there, there can be a, a model dependent part which can, which arises from 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 the from the ratio of the electromagnetic to the to the to the color uh, 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 anomalous uh, an anomalous uh, uh, divergence and 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 here. Uh, an effect arising from from the so so this could be if the electromagnetic anomaly is zero, then still there is an there is an an, an effect uh, which arises from the mixing with the pion again. Now, most of the most of the constraints uh, or, or the hardest constraints on axon or axon-like particles come uh, from from the it's uh, coupling to the photon and uh, so so uh, and and are generically expressed in terms of this this parameter g a gamma gamma which 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 has this alpha over 2 pi the the uh, uh, the, the, uh, the decay constant or the symmetry breaking scale times the model dependent parameter c a gamma and uh, and and uh, and here is the here is the here is the mass of the alp or axion. So first of all, as I said, if you want to understand this plot, which which will appear very very often in in my talk, uh, first of all, this, so for 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 the typical axion models for the for the KSV set model or the DF, DFS set model, they have definite they have definite predictions. For this, for this, for this value of e over n for the case we set uh, model e over n, the model dependent part. So th this is uh, zero, and for the for for the for the uh, DFS set model, this is eight over three. So 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 and 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 uh, so these are two typical typical model, and as 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 and and, and uh, so, so the mass versus the versus, versus this coupling, the mass goes like one over F a, and the coupling goes like one over F a. So, so predictions of of definite uh, models for the axions they will always lie on on such a diagonal mass. So, so the, the the couplings will be proportional to the mass. And here, in in you will often see some yellow bands, but these are just artificial. 
bands which you, which you say uh, which which are uh, deter, de determined somehow often artificially by giving a range for this e over n for 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 typical models so and now this can be now be this these expectations for the qcd axion or uh, can now be then be uh, uh, compared to uh, to uh, uh, to bounds and all constraints. Now, uh, laboratory co co uh, constraints uh, are the best laboratory constraints in in, the, in this field. They come from uh, from uh, from uh, th these kind of uh, processes, which were which were introduced or or proposed to search for for axions. By Pierre Sikivi. So one is the laser shining through a wall uh, experiments. So where where, where photons are uh, are uh, or, uh, laser photons, but but in, gen in generically a big flux of of photon photons is, is sent along a magnetic field and in in, the, in this field because of these two photon interactions the, the the photons can convert into an axion the axion can traverse a, a field and if there is again a magnetic field the axion can reconvert into a photon and uh, and uh, you see the, the the current limits are of the order of few times 10 to the minus 8 gv to the minus 1 for light shining through a wall but the, uh, now, but these are of course very far away from 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 the from any predictions of of of, of an axion. But for a, for a generic axon-like particle, it, this uh, could be uh, possible. Uh, there are other so, so the other experimental approach is to, to looking looking for uh, for axions coming from the sun. The sun is a very, very. If axion would, would exist, line axon would exist. Uh, the, the the sun, uh, the sun is a, a would be a, a very strong source for could be a very strong source for axions. And now again, you can again you can uh, uh, now look for sun, the sun, sun shining through a wall. So you, so, so you you point. Uh, you, you point a, a, a telescope which immersed in, in is in, immersed in a magnetic field towards the sun, and and look and 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 of course I mean you 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 bright uh, you, you you shield this telescope from the normal light and then you look for axions converted into into photons again, and 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 so this was the so and and the the best uh, helioscope of. The, so-called helioscope was the uh, until now the CERN Axion Solar Telescope, and this et es established this limit, uh, uh, which 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 at, at the highest uh, uh, masses even touches the the, the 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 standard or the Famila band, uh, uh, the 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 Manila band for axion for axions. But it's low at small masses, of course, it's still far away. And uh, and uh, now but but finally uh, one could also try to look for, for for dark matter shining through a wall. Now now then in this case you are using a you, you are using a, a, a now a shielded device. In, in, if, in fact, so later we will see it, it can be a, a microwave cavity. And you look in, in this eye microwave cavity. You look for which which is em empty, but again immersed in a in a in a magnetic in a strong magnetic field. And then you are look, looking whether you you see uh, uh, you see photons or uh, or electro uh, electromagnetic radiation in in this in this uh, in, in in this in this device, which which. Could arise from the conversion of of this axion dark matter inside inside this cavity into into photons, and this and and this these experiments uh, uh, these so called haloscope halos, experiments they have established this kind of these kind of limits and in in, in some parameter range they even 
have, have now reached uh, the the, sens the sensitivity really to to in in, in this uh, band. But now I will come. Uh, so, so this was the the, the generic uh, 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 or the, the, these were the current constraints. And now I come uh, to, to to the point where, where Daisy wants to on, or, or experiments that Daisy want to explore the the region of parameter space which have which has not been uh, uh, investigated now and which is now really so this is a kind of parameter space which which is which is uh, which which also has has not been explored indirectly by looking for uh, stellar and stellar energy losses and such things for example in horizontal branch stars so this is really then uh, Terra incognita, in terms of uh, of the uh, of of, uh, of, axi of axions. Now, so the upcoming axion searches as Daisy. Uh, so there are three three experiments. Uh, uh, there is the light the light shining through a wall experiment Alps two. Then, uh, which will be followed by Baby Iaxo, which is a helioscope. And then by a holoscope, uh, later on by a holoscope, which is called Mad Max. Now I, I start now with the with the light shining through a wall. So the light shining through a wall is really a search for homemade axions. So, so we are not relying on, on axions uh, coming from the sun or which are produced in the early universe and now and now the, the main component of, of dark matter, but here we, you are really, really looking for home, homemade axions. As, and as, as I said, so, so it's, it's based on the interaction of axion or axon-like particles on this E dot B interaction. So which, which will lead to uh, light shining through a wall. So if you, if you, if you, if you uh, which I have explained before. Now, so first of all, so just to, to, to understand what also how, how why these look, limits look like they are looking all the time, uh, you have to uh, you have to understand that the probability that a photon converts into an axion after having tra traversed a distance LB in a magnetic field uh, perpendicular to the direction uh, 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 from, from the incoming light is given by this expression. So it's very, so, so you have something like a, like, like an expression, which is very famil familiar to, or, or, or similar to, 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 to neutrino, to, to, to the, to the neutrino uh, transition probabilities. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, so they, so, so you have a, so to say an, an, an amplitude and, 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 and the mix and, and the, and the mixing, uh, uh, oscillation lengths. So the oscillation lengths is essentially given by by four times the laser energy divided by the by the uh, by the mass squared of the of the axion or, or the alt. And you easily see now for, if if you have a very light axion such that that the oscillation length is much uh, less than the length of the magnetic field then the probability that the photon goes into an axon or vice versa can, is uh, independent of the mass of the, of the axon. And it's just given by, by G times B times L, all, all of that squared. So, so for very, so, and, and then you easily see if you want to do a light shine through a wall experiment, you better, you better have a, have a have, 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 uh, strong magnetic field over a, a, a large length L. And so this was a, a, because of this reason and because I, I knew that, that, the, uh, that uh, HERA will be, will be finished in, in, in the year 2007, I proposed that, we sh that, that after HERA has been closed, that uh, then uh, one should do a, uh, uh, and one should recycle the HERA dipoles for a light shining through a wall experiment. And at that time I, I, I said, if you, if you use, I, I just used laser parameters available, available at that time. And then I, I, I saw that, that one could be, 
where you can experiment directly in one of the straight sections in the Hera tunnel, uh, which would would uh, which be be competitive with the with the best astrophysical limits at that time. But if you if you could if you would take the uh, the all the all the lasers, uh, all, all the all the Hera magnets, all the four hundred Hera magnets in a row, you could even beat it by one order of magnitude. This is now, now we do it even with, the, with only the laser in one straight section, but uh, so, so this was the proposal at that time. A few le uh, years later, when HERA was really uh, closed, we, we, we uh, put up the letter of intent for the ALPS experiment, which was, uh, which was in the beginning, of course, much, much smaller. Uh, so the, the ALPS experiment was uh, really, it was a collaboration with the Albert Einstein Ex Institute uh, in Hanover, which produced the, the laser. We are using the, uh, uh, one of the LIGO, enhanced LIGO lasers, which were, were, were all, already available at that time. And we used just one, one Hera magnet, which was already uh, there in, in, in a test hall and, and, and did this ALPS uh, one experiment at that time. And in 2010, we had the, the first result. At that time, we were even, uh, the, it was even the best limit in the, in, in, in the labor, laboratory it was, uh, of, the, of the order of a uh, uh, few times yeah, of 10 to the minus eight GV to the minus one. And a little later, the uh, Oscar, which were using two LHC magnets, they 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 at very low masses, they uh, they they were better than a, a, a factor of few even at, at at lower masses, and uh, but at, at at the higher masses, we still uh, were were better better than them. Okay, but this this is still this is still three orders of two to three orders uh, of magnitude above the the limit from from uh, from stellar cooling, and therefore we thought so. How can we really go into 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 the new land? And then we we were say, we, we were uh, uh, in collaboration with with uh, Hanover, Cardiff, Florida, and Mainz. We are setting up now the, the, the or we are currently setting up the Alps two experiment. So so before we had essentially for the for the generation and the and and for the uh, regeneration of photons we had just half a Hera magnet so only four meters so to say, and they and and so uh, so the, the most easy way to improve the uh, to Im improve the sensitivity. By a by a huge factor was to, was to go now from from one half magnet to or, or from one one Hera magnet to twelve plus twelve Hera magnets and this is the maximum number of magnets which are fitting into one straight section of Hera and uh, and uh, so this is one is one thing which 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 literally we, we could we can now improve the the, the sensitivity by, by uh, more than two orders of magnitude. And the other one is that, uh, that we want to use, uh, or that we, uh, that we will use optical cavities, both at the production and, uh, and the regeneration site, a, a thing which was, which was proposed already in 91 by Hogefein and Siegenhager. Uh, where Hogefein was a PhD student of Wilfried Buchmüller in, in, uh, in uh, Hannover and was rediscovered later by Sikiwi, Tanner and Van Bieber. So uh, what is the current status of IPS2? So the construction is progressing despite of the pande pandemic, we, we, could, we could be uh, building the, the experiments uh, uh, with, with essentially no, no departure from the from the original plan, so all twenty four magnets are now installed and aligned. Uh, this looks a, a bit strange. It, it doesn't look very straight. This this magnet, but this is because of the fish eye of objective to see the whole uh, Hera, uh, to, to see the whole Alps two uh, magnet string. So the clean rooms and the end stations are operational. The commissioning of the optical system has begun. 
and the alignment of the lasers with the laser beam tube is accomplished. So this was the laser uh, after having the laser beam after having traversed all the all all the more than uh, two hundred meters uh, through 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 all these uh, magnet bores. And the cryogenic test operation of the magnets will start next month. And so we are expecting to have the first science run uh, in fall this year. So this is uh, is uh, now an an, an, an up to date, or is, is again this 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 axon photon coupling versus the mass. And here in dash, we see the the projected sensitivity of Alps two. Uh, so Alps two will really uh, probe previously uncharted territory in in this in this re, uh, range between ten to the minus eight electron volt and uh, ten to the minus four electron volt. In particular, it will be also uh, probe uh, parameter space relevant for astro hints. So there are some hints from stellar cooling, and for and from from uh, from from uh, plasar spectra. Which would which would which which would fa favor so to say this this kind of of of, of region for the for uh, cold uh, for, for 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 the axion and the and Alps two can test this region. So here I have just to to give you a flare of that. So uh, so there are hints from astrophysics which may be explained by axions or axon-like particles. So one is. The excessive energy loss of stars in various stages of their evolution, so be it hel helium burning stars or red giants or uh, 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 white dwarfs. So this these hints they are not spectacular. So it's it's maybe it's 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 not more than two sigma. So it's so it's, as Julian said, we shouldn't go worry about about such two sigma, sigma effects. But uh, it's interesting that if you if, if you would explain this hints uh, by by or try to explain it by the existence of ax for, of, of uh, excessive energy losses by uh, due to axion production, so be it uh, this the so-called Primakov production based on this two-photon interaction, or uh, or be it uh, Prebstrahlung or similar uh, effects in 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 the star. Then you would, would then this would be the the preferred point. You see, in the photon coupling, it's not it's it's less it's less than a than a, the, the 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 best fit is less than less uh, is less than one, one sigma. But but maybe in the in the photon coupling, it could it could be more than more than uh, two sigma, so nearly three sigma. So Alps two could test this. Uh, so so, so the, 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 doesn't reach immediately this sensitivity. Yaxo could be could be uh, would would be better in this in this uh, respect. But we but uh, this kind of coupling uh, could be brought by by uh, by Alps as 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 we saw in the previous picture. And so there are these other hints uh, are uh, hints from excessive transparency of the universe for TV gamma rays. So also Sergei Droitz from from the INR has has worked uh, a, a lot of on, on that. So the, so it, it appears so so the, the, the if if you deabsorb the, the 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 spectra if you try to reconstruct the spectra which you ob observe from TV uh, blazers uh, 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 and and to, to 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 look for the spectra which for the originally uh, original spectra. Taking into account uh, uh, models or information about the extragalactic uh, background light between uh, between us uh, between us and and the and and the observatories uh, at Earth, then it appears that 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 there are that there are so to say uh, that that one does not observe the or, or, or not enough absorption of 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 these photons by by uh, by uh, uh, pair production uh, of of electrons and so on. So this is again this, the, the 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 evidence is not 
is is there is no evidence it's only a hint so it, it's 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 not more than two sigma or so also recently uh, sergey has uh, has has uh, seen a, a four to five sigma uh, 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 so to say uh, evidence that 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 the blazers which show such a, such a, uh, the blazers which 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 do not show this this uh, tendency that there is a that there is this uh, absorption that they are associated or they, they are in coming from a dive from the direction where are where are the where, where they are the filaments uh, uh, and where where, they, where we expected expect the highest magnetic fields and this is again also even uh, so so this is somehow uh, Another indication that that uh, that uh, there is such, such kind of an anomaly. Now, uh, and uh, if you try now, if you if you try now to explain this anomaly by the by the by photon axion uh, conversion, such that 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 somehow the the the, the this high very high energy uh, uh, cosmic gamma, gamma rays. That they uh, that, that they traverse the so to say the wall given by the in the, in the by the by the uh, by the extra galactic background light by converting in the in 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 the magnetic fields uh, on the way from the Earth which which they uh, to have to traverse on the way from the source to the to the to the de detector uh, they, they go into uh, into uh, Axions or ALPS, and then reconvert uh, before the detector, detector again in, into into photons. So then, then this is the the, the so the, the preferred uh, photon coupling would be of the order in, in the range of ten to the minus eleven, and the, and the, and the preferred uh, 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 mass would be on, in the range of ten to the minus eight, ten to the minus nine electron volt. Now, okay. So now I'm switching gears and I come to to sun shining through a wall uh, to the to the helioscopes. Uh, there's a, Andreas. There's, three. Yeah, I'm afraid you are going slightly behind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've, this this goes faster, so I will I will go faster now. Thank you. So uh, in in the sun, you can. Uh, so there are there. Are, there can be uh, the, the two processes which can be active in, in the center of the sun. Those, uh, there's one, one the, 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 the Primakov production of axions and, and uh, the Primakov production has the, has the maximum at a few uh, keV, so in general, because this is the temperature in the sun, essentially. And, uh, and uh, if the axion couples to electrons, there will be an even a higher flux of solar axions produced by atomic uh, recombination and the excitation, Bremsstrahlung and Compton. Uh, then uh, uh, Piersi Kiwi has, has uh, proposed then to the helioscope uh, concept that you, that you are, uh, that you are uh, Putting, so to say, a, a dipole magnet, you are you are pointing towards the sun, and look for the reconversion of of the solar produced ax axions in this magnetic field, and of course now you you need, need now an X-ray detector because the dominant the dominant, uh, the dominant uh, uh, energy will be in in the X-ray range. Until now, the most sensitivity experiment was the CERN Axion Solar Telescope, uh, used the superconducting LHC dipole magnet, X-ray detectors, and used buffer gas to extend the sensitivity to higher masses. And there is a proposal since, since many years, there's a proposal out for the International Axion Observatory, I IAXO, which wants to use a large toroidal eight coil magnet, 20 meter long with eight bores, uh, and eight X-ray telescopes at the end, and a rotating platform with services. Now, uh, uh, and the proposed site for this is uh, is uh, Daisy. Now, but before before one is building this big apparatus, uh, we uh, 
at Daisy, what the, the collaboration has decided to to uh, to build first the so-called baby axo, which which has only two bores of dimensions, but of the dimensions similar to the final I axo bores, the de detection lines representative of the final ones, and that and and it's there. For, so so the the, the for the pro the prototype is to test and improve all the systems. The magnet technical design is ongoing at, at CERN. Construction site will be DAISY and it's funded by DAISY, CERN and an, and, and, uh, and, uh, and an ERC grant from, from Igor Irastorsa. The preparation have already started now, now so you want, want to see here in, uh, the, uh, the, the the holder of the of the of the telescope is assembled and the data state taking may start in 2025 so the baby axo will have a sensitivity similar to alps 2 uh, a sensitivity similar to alps 2 but it will also probe the mev mass qcd axiom and it can also it will be also sensitive to the electron coupling hindered at by the stellar energy losses now, uh, so as we have seen now, uh, most of the parameter space uh, uh, accessible by ALPS2 and baby axo seems to be far, very far away still from the expectation for our axion. Also, it can rope this, these astrophysical anomalies. Uh, however, you, you will, as, as, as uh, in, in uh, in two days, uh, Anton uh, Sokolov, my PhD student, he had a very uh, will talk about his idea to to uh, of a variant of the KSV set axon model, which is testable at ALT2 and baby axo. So you so so stay tuned for his talk, and he will explain that 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 this kind that you can you can find an, an axon model which is very simple, and uh, and and but which has a a huge enhancement in the photon coupling and could be tested with ALT2 and baby axo and at the same time solve all these uh, hints, these astrophysical hints. Now I come to my, the, the last part to, to dark matter shining through a wall. Uh, so they, they, and, and then to this MedMax experiment proposed to be installed at DAISY. So this uh, ex this experiment will uh, will try will use the fact that an oscillating axon or alt dark matter in a background magnetic field carries a small electric field com component, and therefore um, um, a magnetized mirror in axon or alt, alt, uh, alt dark matter will uh, radiate uh, photons. So the flux per unit area is, of course, it's, it's, it's expected to be very small. So in order to, 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 to get here to a measurable value, one would need a, a huge uh, uh, area. So there are some ideas to get how to get uh, huge areas, but, the, but Mad, Max, uh, Mad Max will be, uh, will be based on another uh, idea. It will, be, it will be based on, a, on a, to use a, a boosted dish antenna kind of experiment, an open dielectric resonator. Now, the idea is now instead of just having one, one uh, a magnetized mirror, it's to add a, a stack of dielectric disks with a, with a lambda half spacing in front of the mirror, all immersed in, a, in, in this magnetic field. And then you are looking for the constructive interference of the photon part of the of the wave function, so to say, and and this is so to say this. So so you had a, you have a, a really a, a huge stack of uh, dielectric disks, and so MedMax is ba based on this uh, on this experiment. So MedMax is was uh, was first an idea which ar arose in the Max Planck Institute for physics in, in Munich, and but uh, but now the the collaboration has uh, has quickly expanded, and it's and the final experiment is foreseen to be uh, uh, to be built at Stacy just next to the Alps two experiment, but before uh, one one will uh, build a, a, a prototype experiment, and this prototype experiment 
uh, is is uh, has now been accepted to be built uh, at uh, at CERN using the more more poor go uh, magnet. So the final experiment will have 80 adjustable disks and a, and a, and a 10 Tesla dipole magnet. And uh, and but but the the the, the first uh, small prototype will have a, an er error of one over tens. Will have only one over uh, only twenty disks and a magnetic field uh, uh, only two Tesla. But uh, one can learn everything what, what what is needed for the final experiment in in this in this uh, first one. So Mad Max is projected to grow deep into the axion band here. Here are deep in the axon band in the mass range preferred by the post inflationary Petschig wind breaking uh, scenario. And uh, uh, it can probe a ZN, ZN axon mediating between N mirror copies of the standard model, even though already the Madmax uh, prototype. But I'm, I don't want to uh, talk uh, about this. I have no time to talk about that. So come on to the conclusion. So, in general, I would say stay tuned. Uh, DAISY has, I think, now a, a robust on-site axion experimental program that will produce results as early as next year. So, so the, the, the ARPS2 operation will start now soon and will and it is foreseen to end at, at, at 2023. In the meantime, Baby AXO is, is, is constructed and can come into, into operation in 2025. And the Mad Max prototype is not is not, is, so many of the things are pre prepared at DAISY. It, it comes at operation at at at, uh, at first. Uh, it, this becomes at operation at at uh, CERN, but later it should be uh, uh, it should be then operated at DAISY. So thank you very much, and uh, excuse me for being uh, over time. Thank you, Andreas, for a very comprehensive introduction. That's just what we needed, introduction to axion physics and axion searches. <laughs> uh, so DAISY looks like a forefront of axion searches in the coming years. No, yeah. not, not for the whole, for the axion. So in, in, in the, as, as you see, maybe in this plot also, you, you see the, for, for the axion uh, dark matter, we, we, we cover only this region so to say yeah so uh that's for, for, for the dark for dark matter there are so for for example admx and so on so i mean we cannot compete with them so in in but if we but if if we are convinced and of course i'm very much convinced that 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 the uh, that it's a post inflationary scenario uh, then uh then for the post inflationary scenario we are in a good in a good shape so to say can you go one page before? So before? Before? Yeah, yeah. So post inflationary patch queen symmetry breaking you indicated a blob. But what it could be much, it could be even much lighter. So I yeah, mean this yeah. was vertical was, lines. I would put vertical lines. So you you yourself are going to present us a model where coupling to photons are big, right? Yeah, that's true. But but this is uh, in this model, I don't know. This is a model, so, so, so I should always have a, a, a model where, where I have also the dark, dark matter, everything in, under control. And here I have in, in, this, in this model, which I presented, uh, so, so, so this model where Anton will be talking about, the post-inflationary scenario is not, is not valid, so to say. If it's huge, but if it's just a little bit larger than you indicated. And then it could be, yeah, yeah, that's larger, true. Right? It, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. One should not, so, so, so this one should not take so seriously. It could be, yeah. so as, as, I, as I said, also for example here, this was a definite, definite model, a set an axon model. And this, and this, and this, in this band, in this band, one can, one can have, we have computed that you have, you can have 100% of the dark matter yeah. uh, produced by a trap misalignment mechanism. So, uh, so this is, uh, and uh, so, yeah, yeah, it could, could can be, uh, I, I would also say, I mean, you can, you can go here up, yeah. Okay, uh, more questions, comments?
Okay. Now, Andreas, thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs>